Hi, Megan Boone here. I just wanted to come in and show you a journal I had started a while back. It's called uh, Hug the Monster. I got this book. It was absolutely free, so I didn't mind um, messing it up and making it into a journal. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I What I did, it was just sitting on my, my shelf, so I thought, well, I'll just pull it out. I, didn't look too interesting, and I didn't exactly look into it, actually, since it was free, but I started reading some of the quotes, and I really liked it, but I still kind of tore up some of the pages. But I started this um, back at, I guess, 2013, and here it is, 2014. But um, as you can see, I kind of uh, tore some pages out, thanks to Janelle Jacobson. I tore pages out, glued them together, and uh, created a journal. What I really like about journaling is that this piece right here is, um, you know, I journal my heart and I had gotten hurt, Some a friend of mine had hurt, hurt my feelings and uh, anyway, I just journaled about it and said my whatevers and then uh, when I had prayed about it, I decided to come back over and paint it and create something beautiful out of it and even my heart got changed through it. So, you know, it's, it's kind of therapeutic, and I really love it if you can see my little uh, notes from my hymnal. Somebody gave me a hymnal. So I created little flowers and created something that was very hurtful into something very beautiful. Um, this is just some empty pages here and um, drawings. I like to put some things in there with watercolors and acrylics and paper and Today, I was actually um, let go and let God. I like to look through these because it makes me think, you know, thinks, I think back and look at all that God has done, and then I can move forward and create something else. So today, I'm going to create on this page a little doodle. Just going to do it off the cuff and see how it turns out, okay? But, um, I don't know. I think, um, I'm just going to draw a little, I've been doing little bird houses. I really like little bird houses. And I love little birds. And how, you know, just kind of make it up as I go. It's a lot of fun. Make some little holes for the little birds. Maybe make a door. I think. Just going to add some texture here. Maybe a little zen tangles up here on the roof. Um, later on, I will come back in and paint this. This is a much of a zentangle. There's so many pretty zentangles out there. Really creative ones. See this little acrylic cues. A little cockeyed bird nest. Some grasses and flowers. Doodling is just about expressing yourself and you know, I guess being free to doodle, it kind of feels good to create. Never seen a bird with such fat wings before. Isn't that cute? See that? Yeah. Alrighty. Let's put some eyes on that little birdie. Okay. I'm going to come over here and make some other just kind of crazy looking stuff. And perhaps write the a little heart this little bird it's a happy bird maybe get another little bird right there this one's going to have a little tail up and a little wing and another wing isn't that sweet I'm just drawing with a sharpie marker you can get them anywhere <laughs> I'm going to add some fun things here maybe over here and I'm going to write the word free. Free bird. How's that? Just write the word free, and then I'm going to make an arrow. 
would the little bird. I'm going to fill this in like this. And I'm going to get my watercolors ready. I'm going to add some watercolors to this here in a little bit. I love watercolors. I just started experimenting with them the last three years, maybe. Uh, my mother had passed away, and I started doing some really fun, creative things for me, taking art classes with uh, Janelle Jacobson, Christy uh, Tomlinson. I just had a really good time learning for those ladies. And uh, another class that I just took to is uh, Danielle Donaldson's class. It was a lot of fun. I love how these ladies are just, they, they mentor, and it's through the internet, it's through online classes, it's a lot of fun, you, you meet new people, and uh, just learn how to create a lot of cool stuff. It really pulled me out of a place that I was, and um, after my mom had died, I was just, my son moved out, and um, I was just, um, I really needed something fun and creative for me to get my mind off of things and and our online art classes is what I did. So probably too much information. But that's the way it is. Hang on, I'm gonna get some water real quick. for my art here. Let's see here. I like to start with the sky first. I like to do background and work forward. So I'm just going to work back here first and just get my paints. So just get my paints wet and just kind of go real fast. This isn't anything real fancy. It's just my journal. I'm just going to, you know, add some writing over it after I get it done. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's just fun creating and you know, just letting loose and kind of being free. You don't want to hear me this thing. I've had allergy issues and Summer's here and allergies are here too. Woo! <laughs> See that? Just kind of perks it up, and I think while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and add some water up here in hot pink. Pink. It's my favorite color. I'm in a house full of boys, and I'm the pink one. Surrounded by all these boys, so I have to get my pink on. The pink attitude sometimes, right? <laughs> that's some purple there. Not real perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be playful. Playful is the key here. All right, what color do I want my little house? I live in a log cabin. I think I'll paint it brown with a green roof gonna blot this on here like this just to create some interest. I'm gonna squish it on there. Squish it there. I think I'll have a green roof. A little friendly fly here too. Don't mind him. Let's see here. I want this vibrant over here. I'm gonna make it two tone. Let's see. I'm gonna pink up here at the top. Go away, little fly. Go away. 
Ooh, I know I'm gonna put some yellow too. I like yellow. Ooh, that's dirty. Dirty yellow. I don't want dirty yellow. I want bright yellow. There, I like that a lot. All right. Let's do the bright blue too. Green on down here. My family's watching the alligator guys while I do this, and so it's nice and kind of quiet in the background. You might hear them talking, I don't know, but having a lot of fun doing this. Let's see here. What color do I want my bird? Oh, he's so cute. I don't know what color I want him. Do I want him red? I think I want him red. Yeah. I really don't like any of these reds, but I'll just pick that one. This kind of looks maroonish to me. I'm going to go ahead and create a little marine bird. I'm going to come back with a little marker. Let's make the little baby over here red too. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Come back in with a better, better look after a while. Let's go ahead and, you know, while I'm doing this, I think I'm going to create some little red spots of color. See that? Very easy. No big deal. What do you think? I kind of like it. I'll put some other colors too. Let's do, let's go for this color. There we go. I guess that color was kind of dirty. It looks more, oh, well, it's kind of hot pink, I guess. See this? I'm just going to add some more splotches of color. See, I'm using a, an angle brush. Uh, not sure the number on this, but it's a probably a six I mean, angle brush from uh, looks like I got it from Michaels. Um, and then we are going to splatter. Let's just go ahead and see how I splatter some color on here. I like that too. I like that. I'm going to pick up some more of that yellow though. I really like that yellow. Love the yellow. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to kind of put some, whoops, it's running. Put some light behind there. Some yellow. Kind of making green. I teach classes here at home and, you know, yellow and Blue and green, and I really didn't want to make a green background here, but oh well, I like the sunlight effect it gives, huh? And I think I'm going to give it like a little, my word free, a highlight with orange. See this? See how that just kind of gives that F there a highlight on that right corner? Yep. Do that. Give it another highlight. Actually, I think I'm going to outline it like that. I like that. See that? I like that. Now that I uh, have some orange there, I think I'm going to paint that one orange right there. I might pick it up a little bit brighter. See this? It's quite bright. Watch that down and pick that back up. It's just there. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, let's do another little orange one right there. Let's put a little bit more orange over here. Let's get that bright orange. It's really pretty. All right. Now, 
it. Now I, I use my fingers with watercolors too. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. I am going to make my timony this color. I feel it. All right, I like that. Cut down one, but it's okay. It's fun. It's fun. It's all fun. See how the colors have faded? They've gotten a little lighter, but it's still just really perky and it makes me happy. It just really, really makes me happy. So I'm going to put a little bit of orange on here again. I like that orange. I think I'm actually going to. That's kind of dry. I'm going to make this orange. My brown is dry, so I'm just going to leave that there for texture. And I get a little darker brown there and put it right there. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy, just a fun little journal page. Uh, let's see here, maybe there's some brightness going on in that little building there. I'm going to outline it a little bit more to give it some more definition. I like defining some things. Um, I think I'm going to define my little birdhouse foundation a little bit darker too. See that? Just kind of makes it sit down there. Um, yeah, and um, I'm going to jazz up my little Oh, my little whimsy there, my little zoom tangle coming over the edge. I'm going to brighten it up with a little bit more. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the dark purple again. I'm going to do this. Like this. See this? Someone's talking about fishing in the background. Yeah, sorry about that. They really don't know that I'm in here videotaping. So, you know. It's real life, darling. Real, real life. Somebody's talking about going fishing. Yeehaw. <laughs> and I'm thinking of Christmas songs as I'm painting in June. Hmm. It's always Christmas. Always a good time to celebrate Christmas. And I see something I missed. Yeah, it's best that you let this dry real good before you start inking it. Um, I have front brushes. Or I'm sorry, Sharpie markers. My my students have rent Sharpie markers, and I'm constantly having to replace them. And just because they go through wet paint, uh, or they they get ahead of the teacher and do it on their own, I'm like, oh no 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 wait. But you know, that's kids. Um, all right, let's see. Well, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll come back and show you a, a finished product after a while. Thanks.